Hi, I'm David Carnoy, executive editor for CNET.com, and I'm here with the Jabra Revo wireless headphones. This is a Bluetooth model, and I liked it a lot. It has a great design. I mean, it's a great everyday headphone. It does have a few drawbacks, however. What I liked about it is that it's very comfortable for an on-ear model. The ear pads have memory foam in them. They conform nicely to your ears, and it's not too bulky on your head. These are sort of like the Beats wireless headphones, but they are a little bit better. I did like them better. You swipe in a circular motion on the earpiece. Jarba calls it a turntable because it has little grooves on it that make it look like a turntable. So you swipe forward and back to raise and lower the volume. And then you can tap twice on the front of the turntable to advance a track forward. And then tap twice on the back to make it go back a track. They also offer NFC pairing for phones that support NFC. Jabra also makes a corded version of this headphone simply called the Revo that cost close to $100 less. You can use this as a headset and as you might expect from a company like Jabra that does make headsets, the sound quality is very good. A couple of things I wasn't so thrilled about. First of all, the carrying case that comes with this product is very basic. It's very thin. And it's really just kind of a cover for the headphones. At this price, right around $250 for these headphones, you'd expect something a little bit more luxurious. Um, also, the Bluetooth sound quality is decent for Bluetooth, uh, but it, it's not great. Um, it's not up to the level of some of the top Bluetooth headphones up there. But if you aren't a total stickler for sound quality, uh, these are a very good wireless Bluetooth headphone. They're very nicely designed, very comfortable wear, and they make for a very nice day-to-day -day headphone. I'm David Carnoy, and those are the Jabra Revo wireless headphones.